Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to evening prayer. This is Saturday, the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Our evening prayer begins on page 130 in our prayer books. Today is the memorial of the triumph of the cross. Let us join together for evening prayer. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia. I have called on you, Lord, come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to any evil thing, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me. It will be a kindness. If they correct me, it is like oil on the head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer be against the deeds of the wicked. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken, like rocks brought up by the plow. So the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh, my Lord. In you I take refuge. Don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the traps set by evildoers, from snares they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you like incense my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice and make us a light for all the world, delivered by your power from all the works of darkness. Amen. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross for the dearest and best, for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. On that old rugged cross so despised by the world has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to dark Calvary. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. In that old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine, a wondrous beauty I see. For twas on that old cross Jesus suffered and died to pardon and sanctify me. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. To that old rugged cross I will never be true, or ever be true. Its shame and reproach gladly bear. Then you'll call me some day to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross, till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross, and exchange it some day for a crown. By suffering on the cross, Christ crushed the power of hell, but clothed with power, he rose again on the third day. Alleluia. 
The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the farthest coastlands be glad. Dark clouds surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his foes. His lightning flashes out across the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness. Every nation sees his glory. Those who worship idols are disgraced. All who brag about their worthless gods, for every god must bow to him. Jerusalem has heard and rejoiced, and all the towns of Judah are glad because of your praise, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are supreme over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. You who love the Lord hate evil. He protects the lives of his godly ones. He rescues them from the power of the wicked. Light shines on the godly, and joy on those hearts are right. May all who are godly rejoice in the Lord and praise his holy name. By suffering on the cross, Christ crushed the power of hell, but clothed with power, he rose on the third day. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Praise him with the blast of a ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and the harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with the loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord. By suffering on the cross, Christ crushed the power of hell. But clothed with power, he rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus, though he was God, did not think of equality with God as something to be grasped. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death upon a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name above all other names, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth, and every tongue confess to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord, by suffering on the cross, Christ crushed the power of hell. But clothed with power, he rose again on the third day. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. By suffering on the cross, Christ crushed the power of hell. But clothed with power, he rose again on the third day. Alleluia. A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. God has made the wisdom of this world foolish. Since God in his wisdom saw to it that the world never know him through human wisdom, he has used our foolish preaching to save those who believe. It is foolish to the Jews who ask for signs from heaven, and it is foolish to the Greeks who seek human wisdom. So when we preach that Christ was crucified, the Jews are offended and the Gentiles say it's all nonsense. But to those called by God to salvation, both Jews and Gentiles, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. The foolish plan of God is wiser than the wisest of human plans, and God's weakness is stronger than the greatest of human strength. Through his cross, the Lord has worked marvels for us and has shown us his mercy. Hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. 
He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his offspring forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. To his cross, the Lord has worked marvels for us and has shown us his mercy. Alleluia. The Lord Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to death, death upon a cross. Thus, Father, we rejoice and we acclaim your goodness at the closing of this day for your assistance and assurance of steadfast love. We give you thanks, Lord God. For your promise of abundant redemption, we give you thanks, Lord God. For your presence by our side in every trouble, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the promise of the kingdom at the last great day, we give you thanks, Lord God. Tonight in your presence, we lift before you the needs of your church and the world. For the church, that she may be a manifestation in the world of your saving love. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For the needy, that they may triumph over marginalization and injustice. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those bound down in body, mind, and spirit that they may be risen up. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who sorrow, that they may find their sadness turned to joy. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for those who have died, that they may be fully renewed for eternity through new life given by your Son. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And in the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and attentions close to our hearts. Help us, Lord, in our sufferings that we face every day in this transitory life. Help us, Lord, to find strength in you. Help us in our suffering. Remember how you suffered on the cross for each and every one of us. And how that instrument of death was used to bring life. And help us see that our own sufferings are instruments of ways we die to self that you might bring us to life in you. Help us reach out to those in need, O Lord. Help the church to wake up and reach out to those in need. Help us not only pray, but actually help them. And put your love into action, for we are your hands, your feet, your mouth. O oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us know that only at the cross, through your death, through your bloodshed, is salvation won. And you alone, O oh Lord, are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the only way to the Father. There is no other, no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father uniting them with the perfect prayer that our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Not to condemn, Father, but to save not to punish, but to pardon. Not that we might perish, but that all might have abundant life. For these reasons, you have sent your only begotten Son into the world, in the face of life's pain and above all the sorrows and the, of our history. May we lift on high the sign of your Son's victory and find there for all our guilt 
and sin the healing gift of your unconquerable love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O only begotten Son and deathless Word of God, for our salvation you were incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, becoming one with us without the loss of your divinity. You were crucified, O Christ our God, trampling down death by death. You are one with of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Spirit. Save us who cry out to you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us. And in his peace may we be blessed in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining with me in evening prayer on this Saturday evening of the uh, Triumph of the Cross. God is so good. Jesus died on that cross to give eternal life to those who believe. There is no other way to heaven but through Christ. Submit to him, surrender to him, believe in him, and trust in him. And he will bring you through this life into eternal glory with him in heaven. May God's peace always rest upon you.